Alright guys, in this tutorial, um, for those of you that didn't watch the other one, we will be improving our crouch animation. Um, because right now, if you hit the crouch button, you see that little bobble right there, it won't really start crouching until you start walking. Which, I don't want. And also you have to hold down the crouch button uh, to remain uh, crouched. Which is just not the way I like to do it. So, um, what we're going to do is do some scripting and change that so that uh, when you hit it, you crouch, and when you hit it again, you go back to uh, standing up. And let's actually go to the walk.py. Alright, so what we have here is we have there's our crouch right there. If to left control, which is our crouch button. Uh, we change our speed so that we're not going walking speed when we're crouching. Um, we change, if our frame is less than 20, we add one to our frame. So if, we're, if we hold down the crouch button so and press forward, that's when it starts looping through this. Um, it'll keep adding frames until it gets up to 20. And it will also activate crouch. Um, and if it's not positive, it'll start subtracting frames yeah, so it'll start uncrouching as you walk forward or backwards and if nothing else it'll just deactivate the crouch so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take a look at let's go to our game logic here and pull that up just a little bit so we can see a little better and uh, come. So I was going for that period button comes in handy. All right, so let's go look at our crouch. There's our action crouch right there. This is what the Python script is calling. There's our walk.py that feeds with the WASD uh, spacebar shift left control, all of our buttons and all our arrays and all that sort of thing. So this is what is changing right here. Now, what I want to do is have two separate quote unquote states for crouching. I want to have crouch down and crouch up. So that's the way I that's the way I figured out how to do it. I mean maybe there's an easier way but that's where we're gonna go with. So alright so what I did is I added a game property to this and called it C state. C state as in crouch state. Um, and I just did integer and I believe um, I believe I set it to zero. Let me double check that. All right. All right. So I do have C state on there, and I, yeah. Oh, not in this one. Okay. Well. C C state. Oh, of course. That would be why. This is uh, what we need to do is we're actually doing this off of the um, crouch thing here because if you notice it's knees right there so we I wanted to have that crouch state on the knees thing um, and that's where the frame is also stored um, which is the frame they're using in the script over here um, and pretty much we can just change that to see state and I'm going to put it on zero. Of course, that'll write out because we don't have that anymore, but it's not a problem. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add one more actuator, and it's just going to be an, another action actuator. And we're going to connect the same one that goes to that one to that one. And we're going to name this crouch D for crouch down. And we're going to use this for crouch up U for crouch up. And we're just going to use play for this. And we're going to start um, oops, play. 1 to 20 is fine. And I just leave those all there. And action play knees. That's the name of action. Um, and we're going to do from 20 to 1, so backwards. So um, the animation they have set up crouches down, so like it's going to go forward, crouch up, it's going to be backwards. So um, I'm going to do 20 to 1. Alright, so now we have that all connected correctly. 
we are going to go ahead and start our editing here. So let's go ahead and make that full screen. All right. So what we need is if left control positive, which we still want. So let's give us some space there. But we also want to check if it is left control positive. If we hit left control, we want it to know what state it's in. So know if we're already crouched or if we're standing. Um, so that's why we had the C state variable. So we're going to do and own C. That says who the owner is. We we did that in crouch.owner right there. Um, and then crouch was set up right there, which is container or controller.actuators crouch. So, all right, and own C. We're just going to do C state is equal to zero. There we go, zero. Um, speed is two. We can still leave that. Oh, probably should. Probably should have some. There we go. And C owner C, owner of the crouch um, actuator um, should have the variable C state equal to zero. So that would say, hey, we are standing. If we are standing, we're going to set our speed to two. Uh, when we hit the left control, and we're going to delete all this because we we don't, yeah, we're not going to use that. We're going to activate a controller, and we're going to do crouch D, which is a controller we just created. <coughs> and let's go ahead and delete that. Oops. Hit enter, and we need to change the state of that variable so that people know, or so that people, um, so that the game engine knows that we are now crouching. So it's saying we are now crouched right there, bam. And then we can do for debugging. I always, I don't do much programming, but I, <laughs> I always do this because I need to know. Or I could turn on debug as well um, and do that, but. Well, this would be a good lesson. So crouched. So um, good. Let's go ahead and bump this down just a little bit so that it kind of separates the code logically. Um, now we need to we need to have this all in one thing. Um, this is just the way I like it. So we are going to go ahead and um, tab that all in, and then I'm going to do an else statement here because. If left control is positive, I want it to go into this into this loop here. I will always want it to go into this entire loop. And if it's not positive, I want it to do this other stuff here. I, I don't care about all this fancy stuff. I just if it's if you're holding down the crouch button, go into this entire loop. If you're not, it's not in this loop at all. So, all right, all right. So next, we're going to um, because if it's in the same loop, so and I'm. This isn't the fanciest coding. I realize that. Um, if left control dot positive, if we're holding that down, and own C C state, is equal to one. And again, we probably don't need this this part right here, um, because if we have one contained loop, it's going to pop here and it's going to say no, then it's going to go to else. In fact, we may not even need this entire thing right here. We might be able to simplify with deleting that line and putting our stuff right directly underneath the else, but that's just the way I'm going to do it because I'm not a great um, great programmer. So let's see. We're going to change our speed back to 6 because uh, we're now standing, so we need our speed to improve. Um, and then for debugging, I would like to do print uncrouched and tab in controller dot activate crouch up. So that's our animation played backwards, so crouch u. And then we are going to tell Blender that we are now standing. So own C um, C state 
equals zero. So now, oops, equals zero. So now we're telling Blender, hey, you know what? We're now standing up. So let me see. Yeah. I'm telling you all my other programming lang languages that I'm used to. You always have to close an else statement, but I think that's what the indentation is for. Like I said before, not exactly a master at Python. In fact, this is my first Python experience. So, all right, that looks good. Um, let's go ahead and do some debugging. First thing you want to do is toggle your system console, and that will show you any errors you might uh, run into. Let's go ahead and hit zero on this, and we're going to go ahead and put that up. All right, hit play. And we can't even walk, so there's something going on there. Let's go ahead and go back and take a look at our... All right. Let's pop over the system console just to see if anything... Yep, okay. Requested item crouch does not exist. That would make sense. Um, because we did not change this up here. So what we need... To, so obviously when we're doing crouch U and crouch D, it, it actually has no idea what we're talking about. And that's why we, that's why I have the debugging window, because I did forget to add this. So we're going to do crouch underscore U equals... And then we're just going to take this, and do a copy and a paste, and then do a crouch underscore U, because that crouch does literally does not exist. And do crouch underscore D and crouch underscore D and back to previous and go ahead and full screen it again hit play alright well sometimes it's actually a little jerky okay still not working let's go take another look at our console object viewer controller walked up viewer controller crouch is undefined Okay, so we obviously, line 23, we have an issue where we do not, oh, of course, boy, well, you guys are learning how bad I am at programming. Let me go back, and crouch, let's just choose one of them, crouch, oops, underscore D, so that now knows, let's go up, hit play, okay, now we can walk. And we're going to hit the crouch button. We crouch down. We can walk, crouched. And we're holding down the walk button now. And we hit the crouch button up. Uh, it's not perfect, in fact. I think we need to do some more debugging. Because if I hold down the crouch button while walking, it'll do this. So we'll have to do some more debugging. Um, I may pause it while I look over it myself to see if there's any way I can get that fixed but yeah but um for the basics at least it works just fine now you hit the crouch button you crouch down you can walk while crouched hit the crouch button and there you go you're uh, standing back up again so does our speed decrease yeah it might all right all right so let me go ahead and do some debugging or see if i can do some debugging and uh be right back. <clears throat> okay, turns out that was fairly easy to fix. Um, for the jittering issue, all we did is we went to our um, crouch sensor, which is on our main box there, and we hit tap. That's all so that it doesn't sit there and uh, flip back and forth. So tab just make sure triggers controllers only for an instant even when the sensor remains true. So that was fairly simple. And then for the speed, um, this was the best solution I came up with. If we look at our Python here, um, at the very top of the loop where they the speed was set to 6 before I just added a little if statement to uh, justify it. If the seed state is 1, which means if we are crouched, speed equals 2, else the speed equals 6. So. So if we go ahead and pop back into our FPS there. Oh, well, there we go. It's a little jittery. If I'm holding down the control button and it's doing nothing, um, uh, left control, I mean it crouched, and I can release it and hit it again, hit it again, and of course the speed is now correct. So, because I could definitely tell someone was wrong with the speed when I was 
using my crotch before. So that's the easy way to, well, the Python way to switch um, switch their crouch system to ours, which is um, single press to crouch and single press to uncrouch. So, all right.